It's Keith Lowry's turn. Keith, good morning to you. Good morning, Rob. How are you? How is everybody else? We're all hungry because uh, Amy Orndoff from Berkeley Senior Services early on brought in cheesecake for everybody, and we've just been staring at it for two hours just waiting to eat it. So you're the only thing that stands between us and cheesecake right now. And, and a fork. And, yeah. <laughs> and a fork. And that's why you didn't invite me in today, because you wanted the cheesecake. It was a surprise. Had I known, I definitely would have invited you in. <laughs> Well, good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. And I know you guys have got something coming up pretty quickly as well that you want to promote too, Keith. Before I get you yes. talking about what uh, Jefferson Community Ministries does, tell me about your event first. Well, we have two huge things going on. The first thing is we are participating with the United Way Unity Campaign. Um, we've raised $7,000 thus far, and whatever we raise gets matched by uh, some other donors. <clears throat> so we're anxious about that, and that lasts another six days. <clears throat> and then we have a huge 40th anniversary a gala event on May 13th, where we're celebrating 40 years of service to Jefferson County and the Panhandle. And uh, you are, if I remember, Keith, I know you haven't been around for all 40 years of that, but I know you've been, we had you in studio before and you told us how, how you got involved and, and when you got involved. Are you uh, you're there a couple years now? Yep. Uh, I started just about two years ago exactly, mm -hmm. um, and there's just so much exciting things going on, and we are happy to be involved uh, in the community, and, and I, I feel like I've been blessed to be led here. Tell us some of the things that Jefferson Community Ministries gets involved in. Well, our, our biggest function is to get people to become self-reliant again. So when they come through our door, uh, we look to see what can we do to help you, what are the issues you're dealing with, and how can we get you back on your feet. Uh, and we have a staff uh, of 14 people and about 150 volunteers that just dedicate their time to helping people solve problems. John Gilstrap. So the community ministries, are you affiliated with a uh, specific church or or? We, we are a faith-based, we have 38 sponsoring faith-based groups. I don't say churches necessarily because we go f across the board. We have support from some Jewish community, from some Muslim community, from Christian communities, um, and faiths, and some Baha'i. We, we, we look for good people who want to do good things in the community, and we band together as a faith-based, community-focused organization. John Bodwell. How, um, that, I mean, I think that's phenomenal. Everybody's sort of pulling together to help in the community. What are some of the things that the Jefferson Community Ministries participates in? What are some of the programs? We have seven programs, seven departments. Um, the, the keynote ones are we provide health care services, mental health services, and psychiatric care services to some of our clients. We do that because when people come in who are homeless, they have lots of different things that they have to deal with. So we have found it's easier for us to have it in-house, and so we provide those services for them. We also have food, we have clothing, we have job programs, we have counseling services to get people back on their feet. We have rental assistance programs. Um, uh, as an example, uh, we had a huge community fire uh, in Mallard Court about six months or eight months ago where 10 or 12 apartments were burned to the ground. <clears throat> we helped six of those families get into new places, uh, either with rental assistance or helping them with their uh, security deposits or negotiating. Um, so wh whatever the problem is, we'll try to help people solve it. Where does the primary funding come from for you all? Our primary funding source are donations. And we have a lot of community support, <clears throat> and we um, use that support to the best that we can. And when I say we support people, we don't just hand money out. We actually work with the client, and we will call and verify that what the client is saying is accurate, not because we don't trust them, but because we want to make sure that, say, for instance, somebody walks in and says, I need $500 because I can't pay my rent this month because I was sick. So we'll call the landlord and say, okay, we're going to pay the $500. Is that accurate? And they say, yep, that's accurate. We pay the $500 so they don't lose their house.
Well, I think that's a smart way to handle people's donations, Keith, because I think everybody in this room and probably you yourself have been approached by people who have great stories about what they need money for, and those stories aren't always true. That's correct. So we verify before we spend money, <clears throat> and we help people and guide them through the process. Keith, I presume since this is faith-based that you're not getting any government money at all? We get some government money. So, for instance, the America Recovery Plan Act money that came out <clears throat> two years ago, um, we've received some money from the city of Charlestown to fix our roof. Uh, we've received some money from the city of uh, Bolivar. Uh, we've received money from the city of uh, Ranson, and the county has given us some money. <clears throat> so they're, they're, they realize, because we are the premier social services agency, that we're doing a lot that they don't have to do. Understand. So they, they understand by giving us a little bit of money, it goes a long way in relieving them of some of the burdens that they might have to bear. Keith, we'll have you in studio in April. Get a little bit more detail from you about the overall workings of Jefferson Community Ministries. In the meantime, I've got about 30 seconds left. Please let uh, everyone know once again the two things you've got coming up. We have the United Way Unity Campaign, which lasts until the 15th of March. And then on May 13th, we have our 40th anniversary gala event. We're going to be creating an endowment for long-term sustainment. Anybody that wants to know more, jccm.us is our website. Great stuff, Keith. Always good to talk with you, man. Yeah, thank you very much, Rob. I'll see you in April, maybe with cheesecake again. Probably not, though. <laughs> Unless you bring <laughs> cheesecake. Unless you bring cheesecake. <laughs> right. Definitely maybe if you bring, bring cheesecake. cheesecake. <laughs> There'll be cheesecake right. here if you bring it. Hey, thanks, Keith. Thank you.